Hello, my name is Donna Vachowski and I'm an educator with Biowater Solutions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a helpful plugin called the Batch Patron Permissions Modifier. The Batch Patron Permissions Modifier plugin is a great way to be able to control the permissions of a group of staff members all at once. So for instance, if I have 15 CERC members that all need that same set of permissions, instead of setting and managing those permissions one by one, I can use this plugin to take care of that. There's a few steps that we need to go through. To begin with, in the administration section, under plugins, I need to make sure that I've installed the batch patron permissions modifier plugin. It is available through Bywater's GitHub site. If I take a look at the configuration options, I can see that I will need a template patron with their borrower number and then mappings, which will be the borrower number and a patron list number. To begin with, I need a template patron. I've created a permissions circ template patron so that I know this staff member account is going to be the one that we are using for all of the permissions for the associated list. So I've created this very basic account. I've gone into set permissions and I've selected the permissions that all of this group of staff need to have. So since they are performing frontline circulation functions, they will need to be able to check in and out. They will need to be able to log into the system. They will need to be able to add, modify, and view patron information, place and modify holds, and then manage patrons' fines and fees. The second step is creating a patron list. So over in my patron list section, I've created my CERC permissions list, and I've added all of the staff members to this list that need to be able to have these permissions. If I look at any of these staff members, I can see that they do not have any permissions set right now. So again, the two pieces of information that I need to make sure I take with me before I leave this section is going to be the list number, which is identifiable up in the URL. So this is list number 12. And then I also need to have the borrower number of my template patron. And again, my template patron is going to be number 579. So now I'm coming back over to my plugin. I'm going to enter my permissions template. So if that's borrower 579, and then I'm going to map this to that list number 12. So just the borrower number colon space and then that list number. Now I'm going to select save. And then my final step, which is what you will need to do any time that you update the permissions or the list, is come in here and run the tool. I choose my template patron and I choose my patron list. I select batch modified permissions and I'm notified that seven patrons permissions were updated. So now if I go back into my patron and take a look at the permissions for my permissions circ template, I can see here that this patron is a permissions template for the following lists, circ permissions. This is an important point to remember is that you can use that same patron account for multiple lists. So perhaps I have my staff grouped by branch or perhaps I have them grouped by area. I could use this same permission template for multiple lists of patrons. Finally, if I go into my list and look at any of my staff members on that list and check their permissions, I get a message indicating that they are controlled by this template patron, CERC template. So again, it's very easy to be able to see what permissions those individuals have. Now, if I need to change the permissions for one of those individuals, all I need to do is come into that patron list, remove the staff member from that list, Go back to that staff member's account. And I can now go into their permissions and make any changes that I need to. 
So this is again, a great way to be able to either set initial permissions for a lot of people across the board or to update and maintain permissions as you go. So again, using that plugin that is available through our GitHub site, the Batch Patron Permissions Modifier. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions.